Look, okay. We sometimes we just gotta woo up before we start anything. You know, you just got to ask and ask and ask God. Like, please let me get through this. Pray, woosa, have faith, have belief. So in my faith, my belief, I'm hoping and praying, and I know that this wig is gonna turn out right. Like, because I bleached it, I pre-plucked it, I styled it, I profiled it, I sewed on the elastic band on it, so it's got to work out right. Plus, it's curly hair. You cannot go wrong with nobody's curly hair, girl. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas. Hey, divas. It's your girl April, and today's video is being brought to you by me and Beauty Forever Hair or Forever Beauty. Beauty Forever, okay? Beauty Forever. They sent me this really pretty lace frontal wig. The texture of it is gorgeous. It's not one of those sleek, silky type of curly textures. It's not. It's more of a textured, textured type of curly. Like, it just reminds me of cotton, like a cotton ball. Really pretty hair okay i washed this bad boy three times only because i bleached the knots so of course i wanted to wash it after that then after it dried i pre-plucked it and you know after you pre-pluck it and you comb it through the hair the curls come out so you definitely want to get it back into the group of things so three times is always a charm honey and it bleached nicely <laughs> i did have to bleach it twice because i guess i got a little bit antsy and impatient and didn't allow the bleach to sit on long enough so the next day i had to bleach it twice okay Go figure. But anyway, so I did sew on the elastic band. And girl, check this elastic band out. Like everybody needs to stand an elastic band like this. Like this is one of those where you can open it right here. Okay. Right here. But you can also make it tighter. So regardless of where you sew it on. Honey, you can suck in your brain, your head. You can give your face, your head shape, like a waist, like a waist trainer, but for your head, like a head trainer. You can get a smaller head, honey, with this one. Like you could just really suck it in and make it fit as tight as you want. Brain matter, okay? Everybody needs to sell these type of elastic bands. Like I'm just saying, girl, I like this one. I really do like this one a lot. Now, hopefully it's still snug because I get this thing tight as ever, but there's always these straps in the back, girl, all right? So meanwhile, in between time with Beauty Forever, we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace off the back of this, and then we're just gonna get into it. But this wig is absolutely gorgeous, and I know y'all like, girl, it's just better work out for you. It's just best to work out for your girl. Jealousy, but help with it. 
it still look a melody or maybe i got problems that i don't tell anyone have i lost my perception feel like i want to do something wrong now Ten, nine, counting down putting on a smile eight seven six five you say Okay, so now that we have this wig already applied, I'm gonna just take my wet wipe and clean up the excess hairspray that is on my hairline on my forehead. And as you guys can see, the wig hairline is really decent. For it to be like kinky curly hair, the hairline is decent, very meltable lace, but I'm still gonna put just like a couple of sideburns, maybe cut some hairs just in case I need any type of baby hairs in this unit, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare it just in case. But sometimes you might want one or two, you never know, depending on your mood. So to sculpt my sideburn hairs, I always use the Got To Be Styling Mousse. Well, not always, because I'll use the Dollar Tree one. But I'm not really trying to buy any new products. I'm trying to use up all the products that I have in my stash, which is a lot. So that's the reason why you haven't seen me use the Dollar Tree mousse like that. Because I think I, I don't have any more, not enough. And I just figure I will, I will use what I have. I don't want to keep accumulating more stuff that I don't really need to keep purchasing. And this got to be mousse is really good. Um, I do like it. I purchased it a while ago but it is still available for sale and it does sculpt really well and it holds down the hairs it does not lift up the wig which is a plus and so see just a little bit of baby hair is nothing major but just a little bit and i'm gonna take that elastic band with the velcro which i do like because these are really convenient and i'm gonna just place that and then i'm gonna go ahead and style the wig so it did sit on for like five minutes and I allowed it to just dry the hair. This is a lot of hair. So if you're not into like really big, full, thick hair, then I don't think this would be for you. But for those of you who like a lot of hair, that Shaka Khan look, then go for it. I did take the blow dryer here and kind of like heighten up the volume in the front of the wig so that it would sit up. I love this blow dryer. It's available at Amazon and girl, it is definitely worth it. beauty forever okay the lace actually came out really nice yeah the lace came out good I, I was really kind of like on a fence about it but it actually came out really good the hairline it was decent I plucked it as much as I wanted to I mean you know you got to go into depth you got to customize it the way you like it but for the most part it came out really really nice like I was not expecting it to come out like all right on a scale of one to ten I, I wasn't thinking it was gonna come out like a nine, okay? I, I don't, you, listen, you get, if you have to do enough to get a 10 from me, like I'm just straight up, like you gotta, you know, you get an eight, eight and a half, that's good. But to get a 10 from me, girl, you have to do a whole lot. This okay. is big hair, honey. This is what I was talking about when I said the curl is very textured, but it's pretty though. I bet you this will look really cute in like a updo style, you know? We might have to try that real quick. For this, you definitely have to brush it really, really good because the hair is super thick. 
Um, it is nice hair though. You can probably put nice big braids in it, cornrows, what have you. But I just did a top knot bun real quick just to show you guys what you can do with this. The thing about this hair is because it's thick, it'll definitely hide the tracks. You can easily fluff it up and it did brush easy, super easy. So now we're gonna try some different style. I like the updo, but it's really too big for my head. I think it gives it a, like a wilder look. And um, I would prefer it down a little bit. So I'm just taking the hair, it's still parted in half, and I'm just doing some twists. These are not cornrows, these are just twists because the hair is so thick, I just decided to do twists and it'll make it a lot easier. This is one easy hairstyle that you can achieve and it's definitely summer friendly. It's anytime friendly, especially if you wanna tame the hair and you, you don't want it to look too wild. I would highly suggest doing something like this. It's super easy and it looks really, really cute. This one definitely will save you for the summertime. Girl, this one is super duper cute, easy to do. You just put some twists. I think like this is much easier than the bun because you don't have to keep pushing it up. So on that note, I'm definitely gonna go now. I love you all, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Go, go, go.